going um, so I sat down today and I didn't really know what I wanted to film but I knew I wanted to try out my new ring light so if I look extra bright and well lit or better lit I should say that is because I have a brand new ring light and I'm very excited it's very bright and blinding if you've ever looked into one but uh, it's pretty cool and I hopefully it will be a lot better than what I have been doing so I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I sat down and kind of just started playing around. Um, so it turned it, kind of turned into this spotlit eyeshadow. It's light in the middle and then dark in the outer V and then the inner part of the eyelid too. So kind of uh, smoky and I have a brown in my waterline. I've got false lashes on. So a bit of a dramatic kind of smokier look. You can wear this out or whatever or in your house on a Sunday night like me. Uh, so if you want to see how I do it, then stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. If you like it, feel free to give a thumbs up or click su subscribe and I will talk to you guys all soon. Bye! So before we begin, I wanted to let you know that my left eye is extremely red. I'm not exactly sure why, so don't mind that. It's kind of annoying, and it's annoying for me to look at when I edit this. And also, I forgot to put mascara on my lower lashes, so we are going to live with it, and it won't be a pet peeve, hopefully, for you all, but it is for me. Anyway, right, right there, I just put on my primer. It was L'Oreal Magic Lumi, and now I'm moving it into this foundation. It's a new one from CoverGirl called the Stay Gorgeous something. Everything will be listed below in the colors, so I'm just dotting that on my face. And then I'm going to buff that in with this flat top kabuki brush. So same as all my other videos, I'm taking my Maybelline little highlighter pen and running that under my eyes and all the other places I would like to bring a little more light to. So the bridge of my nose, on the cupid's bow, a little bit there in the forehead. I'm just patting that in with my fingers. And then I'm going to grab my Bobbi Brown Bone Cream Eyeshadow and use that as an eyeshadow base. This just makes all of our eyeshadows show true to color and makes them last a long time and gives it a, like a primer barrier so nothing will crease. in my eyebrows today I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde which is not really that light but I guess it works for me. So you can see here I've loaded it up on this little angle brush from e.l.f. I use the back of my hand like a palette and then I'm kind of brushing it gingerly through the brow. You don't want to load it in because then it will look very sculpted and fake. And then as you'll see here in a little bit you want to keep um, running the, the clean spoolie through it. So apply the product, comb it through and I, and I cut a lot of out. This takes me actually quite a long time because you want to apply and then comb it and then it just removes a little excess and gives you the most natural looking finish. And a water break. I'm grabbing my Lorac Mega Pro palette and taking these two shades here, combining them to make my under eyebrow highlight. This brings a little light and kind of helps me kind of also clean up that brow just a little bit. Then I'm taking this fluffy brush and this soft brown color, it's actually called Soft Brown from MAC, and placing this pretty liberally and messily into the crease. So. My crease is really low. I have slightly hooded eyes, so you see I put it higher on me, So, but it, for you, do whatever looks best. If you have a really deep set crease, you don't need to go super high like me. I just have a lot of space up there, and there I'm looking at my red eye. So that is kind of where I put my crease color. Then I took that slightly deeper color from the palette, and I'm dusting this more into my actual crease, so not taking it as high. So it's creating a gradient from the softest color on the top, and then you're adding a little bit deeper colors as you go down. And then next I'm taking this kind of chocolatey, even deeper, deeper brown from the Lorac First Palette. Lorac Pro Palette? Yeah. And uh, putting this again more directly just in the crease and bringing it down on either side. So you'll see I'm bringing it down to the outer corner and to the inner corner. Then I'm switching to the MAC 217 and just applying more of that to the outer corner specifically. And then kind of bridging it over and then touching it to the inner corner. So this is how you're going to start doing that spotlight effect. So blend, blend. This brush is a little big, so here I switch to a smaller brush. This is 
an elf brush, but it's more like a giant pencil brush. So I can really pack the color on there and also sweep it up to create that bridge and then um, put it on the inner corner as well. And then a little bit, I'll take an even darker color and deepen it up even more. So you really make those corners pop for when we add the spotlight part. So I'm kind of just trying to blend as much as I can that color. And then I went back to my fluffy brush to blend all the bridge colors and the crease colors. We don't want any demarcations or lines. And then this is a L'Oreal shadow. These are absolutely amazing. They're so gorgeous. And they're best applied that I found using my, with my finger. So dipped it in there and it says bright gold clearly and it looks almost wet. It's so pretty. And patting that from the lash line up to the crease. See how it's just tucked under that dark color at the top? And then back to the e.l.f. brush to diffuse the edges. Literally just like tapping the edges. Doesn't take much. These are very creamy. The, sh the shimmery shadow is very creamy. So doing it the other side again. And then just tap over those edges with that brush. Again, this makes it just so there's no kind of demarcation or exact line. So it all kind of blends together. Back to my fluffy brush. It's a lot of blending in shadow. Giving it one more blend. And I cut out a lot, actually. This, is, this whole thing took a long time. But these are the steps I did. I just kind of kept repeating them. Now I'm into my L'Oreal gel liner. I'm doing a really thin line right tight to my lash line because I don't want to cover up any of the shadow and all the hard work that I did. I want you to be able to see that. So I'm taking it out in a little wing. And then this is the black liner. I'm just going to tight line. So it's going to go at the upper water line. It makes it so there's no fleshy gap and you can't see any skin there, which kind of takes away from the look. Now I'm grabbing my concealer, patting it under my eye. I'm going to grab my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. It's wet, so I've held it under the sink, wrung it out a bunch of times, and then so it's nice and damp. And that is how I blend all the concealer out. And you'll see I'll put a little bit on my nose, a little bit on the chin, a little bit on the cupid's bow. I actually don't know if I showed that, but kind of highlight with this in the same places I highlighted with that pen earlier. This is a full coverage concealer. It will literally knock out any circles, bags, but you want to make sure you go in and powder it right away. So you want to powder your under eye immediately after concealing to ensure that that concealer won't crease, it won't budge. So I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte on, I think this is an e.l.f. blush brush, and pressing that. You don't want to swipe because of course you'll swipe that wet concealer right off. So just press it, and I'm kind of pressing it over the other places that I concealed. And then I'm grabbing this really pretty kind of dewy finish finishing powder from Physicians for Formula. I'll list the name below on a powder brush and running this somewhere over my face. I found the foundation I use is a little bit kind of drying for me. I don't know, I have dry skin, so I kind of want to use dewy stuff. That's why I use the dewy primer as well. Next, I'm taking this NYX brown liner and running it in my eye on the, on the lower water line. I didn't want to do black because I didn't want to be that harsh. I wanted it to be soft and brown and kind of um, grungy. I went back into that first crease shade we used on a smaller fluffier brush and running this down there. So blending out the liner, kind of hazing this, creating a little haze. Back into the spotlight color, touching it on the inner corner, the very inner, you don't want to go over any of the brown part you put on, to kind of give a highlight in there. Next I'm doing L'Oreal Telescopic, just a quick coat because I'm going to be doing false lashes. So literally just one coat, I'm not you know, re-dipping, I'm not using a second mascara today. But you'll see here in a second, I comb them down there. So comb them down because my, unfortunately my lashes are so curly naturally because I mean, clearly my hair is really curly. But they curl up so hard by themselves so it's really hard to put lashes on. So I have to push them down and let them kind of dry with the mascara facing down. And then it's easier to do this. And so I've just loaded up the lash with a little bit of a very thin, thin bead of glue. You don't need a lot. I think that's something that people do too much is they put too much glue. Let this sit for like 15 or so seconds, pop it on, use the tweezers to attach the inner corner. And that's about it. I've been practicing lashes, so they're getting a little easier for me. And that lash glue will dry clear. It looks white now, but It'll dry clear and we can always go over with a little eyeliner, which I do do later. <laughs> do do. Next I'm taking bronzer. This is a kind of like dewy finish bronzer. It's not too shimmery. Um, it's a Milani one. It's really pretty. And a bronzer brush, dusting it where you put bronzer. So you, where you want to bring a little color and warmth to the face. Kind of cheekbones, under the cheekbones, temples, 
I think I take this under my chin, a little bit on the nose there, and then I'm gonna go into the, um, what is it, Benefit Hula, and this will be a contour. So I'm taking the little brush it comes with and popping it under my cheekbone. This just adds a little more structure, if you can see that. Bronzer didn't really do that, but this adds a little more structure and gives me cheekbones, which is always lovely. And I'm taking another fluffy brush and I'm contouring my nose. So you can just see what I do here. For me, I like to kind of bring up the tip. So, <laughs> so I kind of shade down on the tip and down around the bottom of the nose. And then I take a little bit of my finger and go right under it. Because where you're going to make something dark, it's going to recede. So if I make it dark down there, it won't look as prominent. Then I just blend it over my powder brush because it was a little bit crazy, I thought, at the time. This is an e.l.f blush, which I'm using as a highlight. It's really pretty on a Sigma Taper Highlighting Brush. Cheekbones, a little bit on the bridge of the nose up there. I didn't take it all the way down the nose because I don't want to look too shiny. Cupid's bow, and I make the lips look as full as possible. And just a tiny bit on the very, very tip of the nose. Here I'm taking the NYC, is it? Yeah, NYC Liquid Liner, just to go over any bit of glue that may have dried a little bit gray or doesn't look perfectly black. And this is a new blush for me. It's very, very subtle. It's an e.l.f. blush, so I wasn't expecting too much. Very, very subtle, but it's like a peachy. It's very pretty, but you have to kind of build it up a little bit. So pop that on my back cheeks. And then I'm using a NYX liner. It's kind of like a taupey, beigey color all around. And then I'm taking a Maybelline really pretty light pink. It was limited edition. I'm really sad. Light pink lipstick. And putting that all over. And then popping the gloss on. And that is about it. I'm going to spray with Fix Plus, which is going to set the makeup and take away any powdery looking stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. This has been really fun. I really like this, this look and I hope you do too. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want. And I hope everyone is well and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.